Hello, and welcome back to Conquering Finale. My name is Jason Lafredo, and if you've made it this far in music spacing the finale frontier, congratulations. This is lesson eight, should be the last one in this series. We are talking about music spacing libraries. Now, what you may not realize is that finale actually allows you to save a library of your music spacing, which is literally everything in the music spacing pane of the document options. And when I say everything, I do mean everything. So however you have the avoid collisions uh, uh, set up, that it will save that. It will save the grace note spacing settings, the manual positioning, everything in the minimum and maximum measure width and distances and all that stuff. Whatever values you have here will save in the library as well as whatever you have set in the spacing widths pane here. And you'll see that in this particular file, I have set up the uh, spacing width table and the duration allotments to kind of, um, uh, this is the same setting that I showed you in the previous video with the variable ratio. Now I should mention off the bat that again, libraries are document specific. It's part of the document options, um, or the music spacing is part of the document options. So it makes sense that um, this music spacing setup is only going to apply to this particular document. So again, if you make changes here, this is not going to apply to, the, to your other uh, files. That's why we're talking about libraries. Um, in the first place, we can actually save this as a library and load it into other files. So let's just, let me just show you how to do that. Let's just make some random changes. I'm going to uncheck hidden note. Let's check chords. We'll, uh, let's change the minimum measure width to something like 1.5. Um, in the spacing widths table, I've already set this to the to use the spacing width table, and I have that set up there, that custom setup, so that's fine. Um, that's all. We'll, we can do other changes if we want, but let's just change these particular things, all right? And we'll click OK. And the way to do this is to go into the File menu and find Save Library. And then in the Save Library window, you'll see in the bottom left corner, it's already checked because I just did this, the uh, music spacing option. And when you check that, you are just saving the options uh, from the music spacing pane in the document options. I should point out that there is actually a whole document options setting here. This would include the music spacing, but if we just want the music spacing, we just have this one checked, all right? And so we click OK and it's gonna ask you to save it. So let's call it something like Lafredo's variable ratio spacing. There we go. And you're gonna to wanna to put it in the right space, uh, in the right place. So it's already taking you to the library folder. So just let's make sure we put it in the music spacing library folder. And once you have that selected, just press save. And you've just saved all of the settings in this particular pane of the document options in that library file. It is now a file that exists somewhere on your computer and you should be good to go. So now if you ever wanna use this setup again, you would go into a different file and go to file load library. And when you do that, it'll take you to the appropriate place for the library file. Again, make sure you choose music spacing and there it is. There's my Lafredo's variable ratio spacing library file. And if I was in a different file, I could load this up and I would get the same exact settings, all right? Now you'll notice there are five other options here. These five options already come with Finale out of the, out of the box. So you actually have a, a few things to choose from uh, right from the beginning. So let's just actually talk about what some of these things are. First of all, the Fibonacci spacing library, the second one here, this is the default library that Finale uses in a default document. It's the library that Finale uses most, most of the time um, and the one you're you know, used to using out of the box. It's called Fibonacci spacing. And if you open it, now remember I had all my other settings set up already, but I just loaded that other library, which is the default library. And you'll see that everything went back to the way it's supposed to be. Well, supposed to, I guess, is relative, but you see hidden notes is checked, chords is unchecked, this is back to zero. And if we go into the spacing widths window, it's going back to the these values option, which is the way that this is set up uh, in the default file in Finale, right? So just by loading that Fibonacci series uh, spacing, you can get back to normal and um, we can respace everything and it will go back to the normal spacing. So let's look at some of the other ones, the other options that are there. We'll go to load library again. Again, make sure you go to the music spacing option and let's check out this one, which is called Fibonacci spacing with edited dots. And I'm just going to read you my notes about what this is. Um, this will give you a Fibonacci spacing between each whole durational value. So between quarter and half, half and whole, or the other way between quarter and eighth, eighth and sixteenth. Uh, but it gives you more space to the dotted values in between so that it appears more like the dotted note 
um, uh, the width of the dotted node is sort of taking up the same amount of space as if you were to include the, uh, the original value and half value. In other words, um, a dotted quarter note would take up the same space as a quarter note plus a uh, eighth note, if that makes sense. Um, with the normal Fibonacci series, that isn't quite true. The spacing is, is ever so slightly different. Um, but with this edited dots version, uh, it will make them the same. So let's just load this and see what it looks like. Um, and that's all you have to do, just load it and then press music spacing and it will make some changes. And you saw some things um, get changed a little bit and even if I update you'll see that it, uh, it actually widens the measures quite a bit and it throws uh, the last two measures onto a new system. Let's just take a look at what this looks like. Um, first of all, all of these are set up the normal way um, in the top half. You will notice that it does make a change to the minimum measure width and it changes it to 1.25. Normally this is set to zero in the default file so uh, if you remember from a a few videos ago, um, having this at 1.25 will uh, effectively increase the blank measure width a little bit because otherwise it's 0.875 is the calculated width for a, a measure with a whole rest. And then in the spacing width window, you'll see that a spacing width table is being used. And I'm not going to get too far into this, um, although I do want to show you one thing in particular. Um, a lot of this is close to the Fibonacci series. But if you go to the quarter note duration, which is the 1024, you will notice that it is a spacing width of 123. Uh, so if you do remember from the previous video, you do have to understand that, that 123 spacing width will give you different results than the normal reference width of 84 EVPUs. So um, in addition to the dotted notes being edited a little bit, it does actually change the reference width, which has those consequences that I, I mentioned in the in the previous video. All right, so anyway, so that is the edited dots. It gives you a slightly different um, uh, look at the, uh, the dotted values in particular. Uh, so let's see what else is there. Uh, load library. Go to music spacing. Um, and then the, the bottom three options here are called loose spacing, medium spacing, and tight spacing. And um, they are pretty much what they sound like. Uh, the loose spacing will give you slightly looser spacing. And if you watch me music space, you'll see some things just kind of get a little bit looser. It even threw a, a, another measure onto the last system here um, as these measures got a little bit looser. Uh, again, it's everything sort of set up normally. The uh, minimum measure width again is set to 1.25 inches. Um, it does use a spacing width table. Again, it's very similar to the Fibonacci series, but um, it's, it's a slightly different um, uh, scaling factor. And even the spacing width starts at 95, so that's actually a different result. Um, so that's uh, loose. We will load tight. If we can find it, music spacing. Let's lo load the tight spacing and music space and you'll see things get a little bit tighter. We went back to the, the two measures here. Again, it does set that um, minimum measure width to 1.25 again. And again, it does use the uh, spacing width table. Um, again, the, the, uh, the, the values here are gonna be slightly different than the loose. Uh, and you can actually see that the um, reference duration for the quarter note in the allotment is actually 72. So um, there's, there's a different type kind of different math going on here. And then finally, let's load the medium uh, music spacing, medium spacing. And as you would expect, this will give you something in between. But again, important to realize that one thing it will change is this minimum measure width setting. Again, it's not zero, it's set to 1.25. And it will use the spacing width table. And let's see, uh, I have to go back and forth to EVPUs here. Uh, let's see what the quarter note is set to here. It's set to 84, which is the normal setting. But uh, again, it's using the duration allotments instead of the uh, these values and, and using just the scaling factor for the fixed um, table. Um, so it is slightly different. It's pretty darn close to just using the, uh, the normal setup with the, these values, but it is slightly different. Um, if we music space the medium, and then we can actually go back and load the normal one again, just to kind of see the difference music spacing, uh, Fibonacci spacing, and respace. And you'll see that it does. it is certainly different, especially because of the uh, minimum uh, measure width value being 0 versus 1.25. So, so yeah, so that's, the, um, that's the, the libraries that you have. There's five of them that come with Finale. And of course, you can create your own. Now, interestingly, you can actually um, use the different libraries, the different parts of the 
file um, at the same time. So if we go, I'm just going to demonstrate this real quick. If we go here and load, say, the tight spacing here in music space, just those notes, or just these measures, uh, it just got slightly different. And then I can go down here and we can load the loose spacing. and music space and you get a different thing. Now, th these will remain, see these are still spaced as the tight spacing, these are still uh, um, spaced at the uh, loose spacing, um, so long as you have the automatic music spacing unchecked, right? Because with this option checked, as soon as you uh, go into or out of a measure with uh, speedy entry to make a change, it's gonna reset to whatever music spacing settings you have currently open in the document, right? So you have to be careful. But it is certainly possible to go back and forth like this and, um, you know, pick and choose for different parts of the, of the file. Now, it's not exactly efficient to do it like this, so um, there's a nice little plugin uh, that JW has, if we go here, um, called JW Note Spacing. And if you choose that, um, what you're going to get is a, a series of different types of note spacing. And some of these are actually um, using those exact same tables that you that I just showed you, the tight, medium, and loose allotments. Um, the golden ratio scaling is, is the same as the Fibonacci. Um, but there's also a couple other, uh, or a few extra ones, the optical allotment golden ratio with edited dots. I think that's also um, the other... Uh, Fibonacci with edited dots from the library. But then there's uh, square root, um, there's tight scaling and no scaling. So there's actually a few extra options in the in the JW note spacing um, in addition to basically the, the ones that we get normally. I think it's these five, tight, medium, loose, golden ratio with edited and golden, ra golden ratio scaling. Um, so you get some other ones. So again, you can use this plugin instead. So if you wanted to say, do the loose allotment here, and if you wanted to say do the uh, tight allotment here, you could do it like that, or we can choose the um, optical allotment, whatever that one is, or the square root two scaling. Um, some of these are just ever so slightly uh, different, or no scaling, um, which is a, a different type of thing. So uh, yeah, so there's there's definitely definitely um, a few more options with the JW note spacing. This is a pretty simple. Um, uh, plug-in to use, uh, and it also has some of the ones that you get in Finale anyway. So uh, yeah, that's what's going on. You don't have to keep loading and, and loading other libraries and then loading the next one, etc. So this is a much easier way to do it. All right. I was thinking about actually doing a dedicated video to this plugin, but I'm realizing right now how simple it is. So I'm not even sure that it's needed. And also this JW note spacing plugin is one of the plugins that's supposedly going to be included in 27.3, which should be coming out really soon, I think. Actually, I wouldn't be surprised if by the time I release this video that uh, 27.3 is released. Well, maybe not. I shouldn't say that, but um, it's, it's actually really um, close, I believe. So um, I'm curious to see what the uh, the built-in version of this JW note spacing is going to be because I'm, I'm sure the finale is going to probably make some changes or at least some graphical changes to the way these look and hopefully they all operate the same but uh, basically you will have this JW note spacing starting in 27.3 anyway so uh, that's kind of exciting. So anyway so yeah so that is music spacing libraries. This wraps up Music Spacing, The Finale Frontier, which is exciting. Um, as I've mentioned before, this has been quite a learning experience for me, so I'm glad I uh, got to do it for all of you. And um, yeah, so I don't know where I'm going next, but it should be exciting, and I'm, I'm hoping that you'll all join me. So uh, once again, my name is Jason Lafredo. Thanks as always for watching. Um, if you haven't done so, please, please, please subscribe. And yeah, I will see you soon on the next video.